It's been claimed often that this story or that story is based off true events. In January of 2016, the following events took place in this house in Greenfield, North Carolina. To this day, some of the details of exactly what happened there have baffled authorities. But what neighbors and police discovered at 106 Chelsea Lane was utterly shocking and disturbing. Stunning family and friends and making headlines around the world. This is what really happened to Albert and Rose Poe in the days following the one-year anniversary of the death of their two girls. I like it. All right, yeah, me no, too. I really like it. Look, calm down, okay, calm down, I know. okay? It's Fred. Mm. Hey. <laughs> oh. All right? Yeah. All right. I like it. Hello. You must be the Pose. We are. Hi, I'm Rose. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Fred, but everybody calls me Fred Payne. How far along are we? Six months. Wow. Six <laughs> months. You look amazing for six months. We need to get you in this house ASAP so you can start nesting. <laughs> you know about nesting? Of course, Al. What man doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> I'd never even heard the term until about two months ago when... This one started pressuring me to buy a house. We start work next week, Albert, and I'm about to pop this little girl out. A girl? Yeah, Addie. Addie. That's a beautiful name. So what brings you two to Greenfield? Well, I'm a, I'm a teacher, so I'm gonna start teaching elementary school second grade at Greenfield Elementary this year. Well, at least to start with. And Al here is an above average engineer. Above average, huh? She's not biased at all. <laughs> Guys, that's fantastic. We love having young families move here to Greenfield. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not gonna be looking any further than this beautiful home right here. It's a beautiful ranch-style home, built in the late 70s, 3,000 square feet. Come on, let's jump right in. House isn't gonna bite, I promise. Rose, <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. All right, Al, if you don't mind. A couple roses out. Oh, no. Okay. Watch out, baby. Don't let me hit anything. Um, oh, wow. What's happening? Y'all are gonna make me go into early labor. <laughs> God, I hope not. I'm a realtor, not a doctor. You know how to deliver a baby out? No, I don't. Go ahead and uncover her eyes. Oh, wow. You were right, Fred. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> One day I will. <laughs> Babe, look, I know your hormones are all over the place, but let's not cry over empty bedroom, okay? Shut up, Albert. So what do you two think? I love it. It's perfect. <sighs> this room has Addie's name written all over it. Do you have any plans for any more kids? No. One more. If God blesses us with another angel. I'm sure that he will. This house would be perfect for two children. We hope so. Two kids just seem to fit here at 106 Chelsea. Oh. So, uh, what happened to the previous owners? This house just seems a little too perfect to be sitting in. Good into. question. I just picked up this listing last week, but, um, I think the house just became too much for him to handle.
girls. I miss you so much. Easy, Rose. It's just me. Where did you come from? I just got home. Came in through the back door. I thought I was here alone. You must not have heard me. Yeah. Guess I was daydreaming. I've been thinking about it all day. And I thought going to church this morning would help. I mean... I think about it every minute of every day, not just today. Of course you do. I do too, Rose. I do too. I know you too. You want a coffee, Mom? No, I'm fine, Rose. How are you two holding up? Not good. Not good at all. There's no, uh... There's no real blueprint on how to get over this. Pretty much what he said. I know there's not. But it isn't healthy for you to stay inside this house all the time, especially you, Rose. I know. Well, let's get out. Let's go to dinner. I'm up for it. All we've had are these sandwiches. Rose? I don't want to leave, Albert. Look, thanks for the invitation, Mom. I just want to stay in tonight. Okay. I just thought I'd ask. Taking it pretty rough. Did you bring the girls' toy car to the living room? What? I just rolled to my feet. Hey, sweetie. Mm. You okay? Sure. Two more hours. Will you stop, Albert? This isn't the countdown to the ball dropping on New Year's.
There's something missing inside of me, Albert. The girls? Yeah. <laughs> something else. It's as if I lost my relationship with God. It's like I've given up on him since he died. Happy birthday, girls. What kind of cake would you like this year? A surprise? I can do that. Pumpkin it is. I know that was you, Addie. Pumpkin was always your favorite. extra sugar in it just for you, Jane. Because that's what good mommies do. All right, girls. Who wants to lick the spoon? Really? Rose. Rose. Come on, Rose, wake up. We need to talk. Good morning, Albert. Good morning, Rose. You want to tell me what you've been up to? Oh, that? I just made a birthday cake, that's all. I can see that. You do remember it's their birthday too. Of course I do, Rose. Well, what do you normally do when it's someone's birthday? <clears throat> Unbelievable. Besides, the girls told me they wanted a cake. The girls told you they wanted a cake? Yes, they told me last night. So I came in here and made them one. Want a cup of coffee? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to go take a shower? I'm not going to work today. Rose, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because if you sit here all day, you'll be consumed with thoughts of the girls and that. That's just not good for you. Besides, you know what the church counselor said. 
I don't care what Dr. Connor said. Has he ever had two girls get killed at the same time on their birthdays? Come on, Rose, I know you're awake. Mm. Hey. What's wrong? <laughs> Come on. I'll show you. This, Rose. What? This. Why would you write the word why in the mirror while I'm in the shower? Especially on this day. I didn't do that, Albert. Well, if you didn't do it, then who else did? I don't know. I've been asleep in the bed the whole time you were in the shower. <sighs> well, what the heck, Rose? I don't know what to tell you. I don't have time for this. I gotta get ready for work. All right. I love you, Rose. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work. Okay. Of course you can have a birthday party, girls. I'll get the decorations. Where do we put the hats and balloons from last year? The ones we never got to use. I don't remember having this. Chasing Legion. My name is Jack Wilson, and this book is an account of my struggles. Struggles I cannot communicate with the outside world other than write down in a manuscript. For many years, I've battled demons, more specifically a group of demons called Legion. There are evil spirits living in me, 
Spirits I can only rid of my body by having them travel to the body of others, dead or alive. I've documented my life to let the world know what I've been battling. Read to the end to learn how I chased Legion out of my life, once and for all. since I left? Yeah, I guess I have. No, I take that back. I went up to the attic to get birthday decorations. Birthday decorations? Yes, Albert. I wanted to go to the girl's grave tonight, if that's okay with you. Of course it's okay. There's been a lot happening today. I just, I didn't want you to tell me that you wanted to have a birthday party for the girls tonight because I don't think either one of us could handle that. No. I know I went overboard making that birthday cake. I just miss the girls so much. <laughs> today, we should be celebrating. But instead, we're mourning. I know. I've been thinking about it all day, of course. I went and got Pinwheel. I felt like it would bring me a little closer to the girls today. Old Pinwheel and Grasspender. <laughs> Those names actually fit these creepy old dolls. <laughs> Our girls have such vivid imaginations. They sure do have unique imaginations. Did have unique imaginations. You said do. I know what I said, Albert. I'm sorry, Rose. What is happening? What do you mean, what's happening? I mean, one year ago, we were a happy family of four. And in a split second, it all changed. Blink of an eye, literally. All right, back down to two. Back to you and I. I battled for years to be a strong Christian, but sin was too great and I was too weak. They say that a Christian cannot have the possession of Legion inside of him, if filled with the Holy Spirit. Legion has taken over my body. I guess I'm not a true Christian. Should I just give up? and give in to the demands of Legion and whoever, whatever, control them. You okay, babe? Yeah, I guess. Huh? Do you think I'm a good person, Albert? Yeah, I'd like to think we both are. Why do you ask that, sweetheart? I wanted so bad to numb myself today with alcohol and pills, to forget about everything. And I thought to myself, it wouldn't be fair to them. 
And of course, I've been on a whirlwind of emotion the entire day. One minute, I wish my life was over. And 10 minutes later, I have these extremely happy thoughts that come to my mind, letting me know that everything's gonna be okay. And then I feel guilty for having these happy thoughts because I'm still alive and they're not. I can't stop thinking, are we being punished by God for something we did? And if so, why did Addie and Jade have to pay the ultimate price for our mistakes? Rose, listen to yourself. You're saying things the counselor has been over with us hundreds of times since the accident. I know, Albert, but I'm human. What am I supposed to do? Like, how am I supposed to think? I haven't wanted to be touched in a year. What makes you think I want to be touched now? Sorry, Rose. Dear God, if you can hear me right now, I just want to ask one thing of you. Will you please give my two little girls a big hug for me? What I would give to be able to hug them one more time. If I did something bad in my life, why did you take Eddie and Jake? Why not take me? Or Albert? We've lived such good lives. And there was just getting started. If I can't have my two girls back, will you please take some of this pain away? It's been a year, and it feels like it's been an hour since the accident. And I don't think I can live the rest of my life like this. Amen. Really, Rose? We've barely been in here in the past year, and you sleep in here last night? No, I must have fallen asleep. I'm sorry. Oh, whatever. Why don't you get up before you're late for work? Am I going to work? I don't think that's a good idea. Why don't you think that's a good idea? Because, Rose, I feel like today's a new day. You know, it's time for a new start. We made it past the one year, and it's time to move on. The girls would have wanted it like that. No kiss? Okay. You don't know what the girls would want. I'm sorry? You just want to move on and leave them in the past, don't you? Stop saying that, Rose. Plus, we can't really afford for you to miss any more work. Look, I know we can't, but I am not ready to go back to school, Albert. I 
I know that I've been acting crazy, but I feel as if the girls are right here with me. I can hear them so vividly. I'm calling Dr. Connor. So you do what you need to do. I'm gonna go to work and I'll see you later this afternoon, okay? Please don't let me hear anything on this. Hello, Dr. Connor. It's nice to see you, Rose. So Albert did call you. May I come in? Oh, yeah, sorry. Of course. You have the air conditioning on? Yeah, this is, it is winter time, you know. No? Why? It's just really cold in here. It is? Mm, feels fine to me. So you wanna come in the living room? Sure. So what all has Albert told you? Do you say I've been acting like a crazy person? Thanks. No. But it has been over two months since you've been to therapy, Rose. I've just been a little concerned. I know. I just felt like I was getting better. And then all of a sudden... The one year anniversary? Why does everyone keep calling it a one year anniversary? Because that makes it sound like it's some sort of celebration. But yes. It has been one year since I lost my two little girls. And I haven't come in to see you because I didn't think there was anything that you could say that would take this pain away because nothing has so far. Albert tells me that you haven't been eating or sleeping very much and that you've been missing more. Because it's really hard to walk into that classroom and see those kids. I'm sure. You know, just seeing them and seeing how full of life they are and knowing that my two little girls are six feet in the ground. And how does that make you feel? I guess a little jealous. And that's a normal emotion for people who've lost children. Some of these kids in my classroom are acting like animals. And I can't help to think, why wasn't it this kid or that kid that died that day? I mean, God, what kind of person does that make me to wish that someone else's child was dead? Normal. Your emotions are absolutely authentic, Rose, but the more you bottle them up, the longer it's gonna take to heal. I need to tell you something. There's been some really bizarre things that have been happening around the house. 
I can sense there's something going on here. You can sense that there's something happening here. Yeah, as you know, I'm also an ordained minister, and sometimes I can pick up when things are off kilter in certain places. You can? Why don't you tell me about some of the things that have been happening here? I hear my little girl's voices. And they're telling me everyday things. Like... It's normal for people to hear voices of lost loved ones. Any strange occurrences? Yeah. So pictures have been falling off the wall. My little girl's toy cart keeps moving around. And yesterday in the attic, I found this manuscript about demons. It's called Chasing Legion. I've never seen it before, so it must have belonged to the previous owner. You know, I, I just remembered I have another appointment that I have to get to. You weren't on my schedule today, so, um, and... I'm sorry. I, I, I need to leave. Wow. I was just starting to tell you about everything that's going on, and this is how you react. Look, I'm sorry, Rose, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I don't feel comfortable being here. Look, I'll, I'll explain more later, but I seriously think you and Albert should consider selling this house. No! This is where my girls were born. This is also where your girls died. Look, there is something going on here and it is not good. I really think you and Albert need to get out. Right here. It's not good, Rose. Girl Scouts reported missing. House under suspicion. Political signs. We gave you permission to put this in my yard. Hey, Albert. Hey, Scott. Leave the nerve of these guys. I know. I'm not voting for that idiot. Um, found something in the driveway this morning. I think it belongs to you. <sighs> not again. What's that? Oh, nothing. I'll take that from you, though. It's the girls, all right. I don't know how it got in your yard, but I think Rose is playing with the girls' toys again. Mm. Hey, Scott. Yeah? You've lived in this neighborhood for quite a while now, haven't you? Yeah, built in 1970. Been here ever since. 
Anything about my house over the years that seemed odd or, or strange, you know, anything you saw or maybe heard? Hmm. Albert, I'm not sure I'm the fella to answer those questions. Hey, Fred. Yeah, thanks for calling me back. Listen, I'm ready to list a house on Chelsea. I'm sorry. You've got to stop doing that to me. That's fine, Rose. Sorry, I shouldn't have snuck up on you like that. Why are you in here vacuuming? I'm bored, I guess. Did Dr. Connor come by today? Yeah, sure did. He thinks we need to sell the house. But there's something I need to tell you, Albert. Anything? I found an old manuscript in the attic yesterday that I've been reading. And? And it's not finished, so I've been doing some research, and I'm not liking what I'm finding. What are you talking about, Rose? A man who has a connection to this house was apparently tormented by a group of demons named Legion. It is the same group of demons in the New Testament that Jesus drove out the man that lived in the cave for all those years. I didn't read the Bible, but go on. I know. The only way that he could rid himself from these demons was to kill someone. Where are you getting your information? From the internet, I was doing some research, and from the book as well, like I said. There you go. Baby, please don't believe everything you read on the internet. That is your response to what I just told you? Yes, Rose. Look, this sounds like a bunch of religious taboo crap that some demonic cult made up just to justify their agenda. Read the manuscript, then. I'm not reading anything. Will you at least pray with me tonight, then? It would mean a lot to me. Sure. If it'll make you happy. Thank you. It will. Going outside to the garage, look for a few things, babe. I'll be right back. Here goes nothing. Please don't let me hear anything on this.
world. Will you come up and help me? What? Come on, girls. It's fun up here. Daddy? Mommy's at the store. She said it's okay if the birthday girls are on the roof. Okay. okay. Girls, you two stop playing around back here. You know the family's on the way over for the birthday party. Girls! 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 Please take this seriously, Albert. You know how important this is to me. I, I will, Rose. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You don't seem okay. I'm fine. Is this a seance or something? No, Albert. Look, I just want us to pray with all our hearts so we can free whatever spirits are in this house, whether it be our little girls, demons, or whatever. You don't know that there's anything in this house, Rose. Well, whatever's going on, I want to try and pray it out so we can get on with our lives. Okay? Okay. All right. Close your eyes. Dear Lord, this is Rose and Albert Poe, as you know. We are here tonight in hopes that you'll be Is that the answer you're looking for? Excuse me, how did you get in our house? Excuse me, ma'am, what are you doing? Oh! It's been a long time since I've been in this house. It's a lot different now. I'm an old friend of the previous owner. He was a sick man. And the more he tried to control the demons, the worse it got. <laughs> he built this house, Albert. How do you know my name? Certainly you researched this house before you bought it. No. Oh. oh. You should have. If you had, Addie and Jade would still be alive. <laughs> Look, lady, I don't know who you are, but I suggest you get out of here right now before I call the police. <laughs> call the police. <laughs> There's no man. I can save you now. <laughs>
What's going on, man? This couldn't wait till morning. No! Brother, it's almost midnight. <laughs> We're friends, right? Yeah. Of course. Why do you even have to ask? What kind of house did you try to sell me seven years ago? Chill out. Look, man, I... I know you've been through a lot in the past year. More than any man should go through in a lifetime. But I'm not the person to blame. It's just a house. <laughs> you see this? Yeah. Got yourself shaving? No, Fred. I just had some psycho woman break in my house, and he, she pulled a knife on me. Oh, never go. What'd you say? Nothing, man. I, uh, I said that sucks. I'm sorry that happened. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Well, that's it. I'm done. Look, sell this house or else. Or else what, Albert? Listen. I put the house in MLS as soon as you called this afternoon. Personally, I don't think you'll be living here much longer. Good. Look, man. It's late. You look tired. I got a busy day tomorrow, so... Um, I'll get the house sold for you. Got my way. Hey, Al. Take care of yourself, man. You look like hell. Rose, wake up. Are you serious? Rose? Rosie? Ah, where is she? Baby, what are you doing in the garage? Just brushing Penwell's hair. Why? It's two o'clock in the morning and you're not in bed with me, that's why. Oh. Come back to bed, Rose. I'm not going anywhere until Penwell's hair is nice and smooth. Just the way the girls used to do it. You never loved them. I never loved who, Rose? Addie and Jade. You never loved them. 
I love those girls more than anything. You love yourself more than anything. You never made them a priority in your life. Why are you saying this, Rose? Why now? Because it's never been said since they died. Why did you go to the house, Nebula? I had to. You could have ruined everything. I didn't. Those two are clueless. I'm not so sure about that. Albert, yeah. Rose. Not so much. favor. Anything. Back off. Let things play out like they're supposed to. you back. Can we talk? Yeah, sure. Come in. Have things been getting darker in this house, Albert? How'd you know? Well, like I told Rose the other day, there's something very off about this house. When I rushed out of here, it was because I was getting an overwhelmingly bad feeling by being here. I'm getting that same feeling right now. Look, when I left here the other day, I never wanted to come back. In fact, I was so spooked, I actually left Greenfield. But I couldn't stop worrying about you and Rose. So I started doing some research. Do you know who built this house? Rose mentioned some guy by the name of Jack uh, Wilson. Who? Well, apparently the guy that used to live here, Donovan Peoples, wrote under the pseudonym of Jack Wilson. The manuscript that you guys found was published years later under his real name. And I started doing some more research and I discovered that the January 20th, the day that your girls died, was also celebrated on the satanic calendar as a candle mass, a holiday, if you will, for an abduction and, and ceremonial preparation for human sacrifice. Now, I'm not sure what you guys read in the manuscript that Rose found, 
but people thought that he could use the power of this holiday to do the reverse and rid his body of the demons. And he did just that, Albert. The day that your girls died, it's the 25th anniversary of people's killing two Girl Scouts right here in this house. What do we do now? I don't know. I just want to pack our bags and get the hell out of here. No. Why? This is where my girls were born and where they died. Do you not understand we're not safe here anymore? What do you mean by that, Albert? Are you joking? Because it's not a good time to joke. You were just wielding a knife like a crazy person a couple hours ago. It's obvious you don't remember. Rose, do you not remember me talking to you in the garage last night? No. Will it happen? I'm sorry, Albert. I honestly don't remember. I just want to bury everything once and for all and move on with the rest of our lives. You want to pretend none of this happened? That's not what I said, Rose. Stop putting words in it's my mouth. It's what you just said. 
Rose, I love those girls too. But it's time to move on or else. Or else what? This past year has been a living hell for me too, Rose. I'm just tired. I just want us to be happy again. That's all. death threat note in my sock drawer from the girls. What are you talking about, Albert? I'll explain the car, Rose. We need to get the hell out of this house right now. We're going to end up like the girls. Like the girls? Yeah, like the girls, dead. Why would you say something like that, Albert? I didn't mean it like that. You know what I'm trying to say, Rose? I'm a little bit freaked out. Ugh, no, I'm a lot freaked out and not in my right mind. Where are we, where are we going, Albert? Anywhere but here. Okay, let's just go. Finally. What was that? I don't know. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, give me a second. Hold on, stay right here. Where are you going? I'm going to get my gun. Run. <laughs> <laughs> What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna shoot anything that stands between us and our car. Put the gun down, Albert. <laughs> what? Oh, freaking Dr. Kyle! Put the gun down! Those are our donuts! They're not going to hurt us! Oh, you don't think so? Those are our babies! They would never do anything to hurt us! Those are not our babies, Rose! Get that through your head! That is not Addie and Jay! <laughs> Oh, 
in the car. Turn your phone on vibrate. Hide behind the door until I call you. Where are you going? I'm gonna go through the garage, get a car, and take you to the road. All right, once I'm there, I'll call you. You bust out the front door. This is stupid. Please don't leave me. Please, why can't I go with you? Because, because, Rose, if they're out there waiting for me, I'll, I'll yell. All right, and you just make a run for it. Okay. So hide behind this door. Don't make a sound until I call you. Okay? I love you, Rose. Daddy, right now. Mm, what's going on? Uh, mommy, you're up. Can we watch cartoons? Focus, Jade. We came to get mommy. What about daddy? Daddy killed us, Jade. We don't want him. Is that true, Albert? Not true, Albert. That is not what the girl said happened. 
after I was six years old. That is what happened. You're gonna love this house. It's a beautiful ranch style home built in the late 70s, 3,000 square feet. Oh, Reggie, I love it. I mean, it's so perfect. Look at the yard for the girls, and there's so much space within the house. Okay, just slow down, baby, all right? We haven't even been inside yet. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think you two will be disappointed. And yes, I have a feeling your two girls are gonna fit right in here. Two kids just seem to fit here at 106 Chelsea. Uh, what happened to the previous owners? That's a good question. I just picked up this listing last week, but um, I think the house just became too much for him to handle. Shall we? Sure. Girls, let's go take a look inside, all right? Okay. Come. You guys are gonna love this place. 